Almost every single expert got this election wrong, except one expert in particular. Watch. Right now, according to this statistical model, mm -hmm. you say that Trump has the odds of Donald Trump winning are 97 to 99 percent. Yes, against Hillary Clinton as the other candidate. Do you believe your prediction enough to put your money in a legal way in a betting market behind your prediction? Yes, I have. I've, uh, I've uh, gone all in in the Iowa market, which is sort of the oldest prediction market where it's legal to do that. So with 18 days to go, are you still confident? Yes, I am. Joining us right now, the man who can add another winning prediction to his record, <laughs> uh, political science professor from Stony Brook University, Helmut Norpoth. Good morning to you. Well, good morning. Thanks for being in with you. When you were with us in February, people thought you were crazy. Yes, absolutely. It was just so out of line with everything else that people were saying, and the, the polls were showing a big lead for Hillary Clinton, so I was a big outlier. Helmut, mm -hmm. tell me, your, what's your methodology? What's your modeling? Well, I think, I think the bottom line is that this was a change election. And over 200 years of elections, if you, if you chart them, you see that it's a definite swing of the pendulum. And this was a year in which the pendulum was swinging back from the party in the White House to the other party, and in particular because Obama did not do as well in getting reelected than when he was first elected. And that's a sign that wow. the movement is going down, and it just went down too much for the, for the Democrats to, to keep Hillary in, in let's say, in the, in, or get, get her into the White House for a third term right. for the Democrats. So in February, you said it was a 97% yes. chance that he was going to win. Then about a week or two ago, you said it was going to be an 87 percent chance? Well, the other, the other predictor that I use is, is uh, how the candidates do in primaries. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, used New Hampshire and South Carolina. Well, South Carolina wasn't completely done yet. I was a little bit, a shot, a little bit premature about that because they, the Democrats held their primary a week after the, the right. Republicans. And I used polling information. And I, yeah. I guess, I mean, polls are, are, have become pretty unreliable. Is it are no these kidding. long looks inside the numbers with these primaries? Or this, oh, this is what you did in New Hampshire. This is what you did in Iowa. Is it that simple? Well, it's actually not Iowa. The caucuses I usually don't, don't use because of their, their, it's Okay, but I haven't said that. But looking at these primaries, yes. you just look at results. Or do you go inside the no, numbers no, no. in an analytics way? I just look at the numbers. I look, look how the candidates are doing, how they perform. And if you have a big field, like, like with the Republicans, I, I, I take what the winner gets compared to the strongest rival because mm -hmm. you have to have some kind of a, a, a sort of a, a metric to, uh, to do that. So right. Donald Trump beat... Uh, I think Kasich in New Hampshire, he yeah. beat uh, Cruz in South Carolina, and Hillary Clinton lost, as we all know, in New Hampshire. Sure. And I think that was a bad omen for her candidacy. Well, listen, it was a, it was a bad <laughs> season for the pollsters. Everybody got it wrong. Uh, you say polls are bunk. What's your message to the pollsters who, for the most part, got it wrong? Well, I think they really have to work at trying to figure out who is uh, ending up voting. I think that's the biggest problem because uh, we know... Uh, Six out of ten people vote at most. So you take a poll, you don't know who's, who's going to end up voting. And I think sure. how they do that, I think they really have to take another look at. 1 800 Helmet, if you want to know what's going on. <laughs> uh, Professor Nor uh, Norport, thanks so much. Uh, congratulations. Uh, and also, everyone else is emailing you. Congratulations. So well, good job. Well, thank you very much. Thank uh, you very much. He's now brother. six for six. What a record. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Professor. See you in four years. Thank you.